Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. I got a fun little project for you. This is called the Wombat Micro Camper. I designed this for a guy who wanted a teardrop, but if you know a teardrop camper, it has that rounded shape on the top. Well, that rounded shape really reduces the amount of load uh, that you can put on top of a camper like this. So I came up with this design, and this has a five foot long by four foot wide top and as you can see i've got a couple of racks up there so you can store your kayak your snowboard your skis your mountain bike or all your camping gear up on top of here so it has a little bit more room uh, and it's easier to build one of these than it is to build a traditional teardrop because you don't have to do any rounded cuts and try and bend your boards around and things like that this is all just straight cuts if you can uh, cut a straight line hammer a nail, and drive in some screws, you can build this. This is an easy project. It's called the Wombat. Now, it is based on the Harbor Freight uh, Trader, the 4x8 Trader. You can use either the lighter weight 1100 uh, GVW or the 1700 GVW. doesn't matter. Either one will work for this project. That's the Harbor Freight uh, Traders. You can get it at harborfreight.com. Uh, and uh, you can find these a lot of times. You can find these traders used if you look on Craigslist or uh, in your local advertisements. A lot of times you'll find these 4 by 8 traders for 100 or so dollars. You'll find one used a lot of times. Might need some work. You might have to clean up some rust and stuff. But, you know, you can get them used a lot cheaper than you can get them new. But at new, they're still not a bad price. Okay, so let me tell you what this, this is here. Uh, this is a 4 by 8 it is four feet wide. It is eight foot long. You can see that the top is angled to allow the rain to run off. In the back, it has a kitchen unit, and I include the full kitchen plans uh, so you can build your own kitchen unit. But I'll just show you here. Uh, this opens up, and inside you've got a complete kitchen unit with a nice little sink. Scroll in here a little bit so you can see it. You got a nice little sink area if you want to put a sink in. Uh, you've got a little three burner propane stove. There's two propane uh, tanks on the front. You've got shelves in here for your dishes, food, and supplies like that. And then underneath, you can see there's also more shelves under here. You just reach underneath and you can store all your canned goods under there. And then underneath, you've got storage for your cooler. We'll just take these off, hide them. Underneath, you've got storage for your cooler, uh, water tank, uh, other camping supplies, things like that. Nice little uh, backspace in there. Now, this actually has a bigger kitchen and more storage space than a traditional teardrop because of the, the shape of it. Uh, you, you don't lose the room that you do on a regular teardrop, so you can have more storage space. So it's got a nice little kitchen in it. And then on the side here, open this up. You can see these nice little doors. Click on this. We'll just hide these doors for a minute. And here you can see this has a really nice bed. Uh, what would they call an extra large twin bed in there? It's got an extra large twin bed. And then on the inside, if you can see it through the door, let me just adjust this here. Through the door, you can see I've got a uh, clothes cabinet up here for storing your clothes or whatever. And then a, a room for a flat screen TV. And uh, let me pull this side off here so you can get a better picture of what this looks like on the inside. Here you can see, now I've got this done in plywood. This is sheathed, skinned in half inch plywood. It's fully insulated. This is R5, uh, 1.5 inch uh, foamular, foam board, rigid, rigid board insulation. And it's insulated front, back, and bottom, all the way around, uh, completely insulated. So this is made for extreme weather. So let me just pull this off. And here you can see, I'll take this wall off. This framing is 2x4 framing. It has 2x4 uh, floor framing, 2x4 wall framing. So this is well-constructed, well-made, well -made, uh, solid construction here, okay? And then I'll take this off so you can see the full interior just so you can get an idea of how much space you have now this is a uh, six foot one inch or six foot two inch bed in here 
and you can see that those cabinets you've got space in here for storing your clothes or whatever and if you want to watch TV while you're laying down you can get you one of those flat screen TVs to put right there and here you can see <clears throat> the additional storage you've got uh, another big cabinet up here for all your canned goods food storage and stuff like that you can just reach underneath here and get to the stuff that you want and then you've got storage for your dishes and whatever here and then you've got this really big storage compartment for your cooler and your water jugs and your camping gear okay so that's what the inside looks like on the front uh, I give you a couple of different options in the plans you can either use a pre-made or make your own uh, toolbox to go on the front here which looks really nice or I have let me just unhide this I also give you the plan so you can just make your own simple storage box for your propane tanks and your batteries that's included in the plans here you can see a couple of uh, your smaller propane tanks a deep cycle battery and then on the front I've got a uh, one of those uh, lightweight this would be a flexible solar panel you can put a hundred watt uh, flexible solar panel up here to recharge your battery that way you don't have to restart your vehicle to recharge your battery and then on top I uh, have this roof rack and also a roof vent which I show you in the plans uh, and I also show you where to get this material all included in the in my plans I show you where to get your roof rack where to get your solar panel uh, and where to get your roof vent I also show you where to get these porthole windows even show you where to get your locks and that now on the back here I show this with the door open and this this has a hinge on it so you can see when the hinge is open the door opens up to the top like that and then these side doors here they have hinges on them and they open up out to the sides so there you can see how the doors are open for the kitchen unit okay and then you just close it up but you don't want to use them and you got two doors here door on each side and this is a really easy to build unit now I've got the full plans for this uh, and I also show this now I show this in plywood unfinished uh, in the plans I also show you how you can do this in many different colors uh, in could including uh, camo green uh, military insignia if you want or you can do it in uh, blue you can do this in pinstriping you can do it in white and red that's all included in the plans I show you different color schemes different ways you want to paint this I take you step by step in the plans uh, how to, to build your floor frames, how to sheave the whole thing, how to insulate it, uh, and how to, to uh, build your kitchen. I show you the entire plans for the kitchen unit uh, that just slides right in there. Pretty interesting little uh, camper and well made. Like I said, this is half inch uh, plywood skinned. And uh, if you keep it painted, this thing should last you a lifetime uh, because it's going to be, uh, it'll be a little bit heavier than a standard teardrop. But it's made for a little bit rougher use, made for year-round use because it is insulated. All right, that's called the Wombat Micro Camper. And you can get the complete plans for that on my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Right at the top, you'll see Wombat, Com Wombat Micro Camper Plans. Just click on that, and uh, you can get the ebook plans for about 5 bucks, or you can get a printed copy if you want for 10 bucks. All right, folks, I hope you like this little project. Go on by my website, simplesolarhomesteading.com. Take a look. Thanks for visiting, everybody, and please like my videos and uh, watch the rest of the videos on my channel. Thanks, and have a good day.